Hey guys, Stealth Jacob here, and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, the Telltale series. Today we are going to start Episode 1 of this new season, and I am excited. These are some of my favorite games because they tell a really fun and interesting story, and I just love stories a lot. So, what we're going to do is we're going to play through the entire Episode 1. Um, we're going to continue our story from Season 1, because that's the best se se story. Um, we'll import it, because it's more fun. And we're going to be our same character as always. But yeah, Episode 1, which is called Hero in Res Residence. As old friends and new responsibilities pull Jesse into different directions, the discovery of a strange prismarine gauntlet, gauntlet leads our hero into a whole new world of mystery and danger. Sounds fun? Let's get started. Um, the logo is barely visible, so that works. The series and game adapts to the choices that we make, just like all the other ones. Let's go. I'm excited. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world, and their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Wait, what? I need to change something. Where are the subtitles? What? I turned them on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Subtitles are now on. Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. So? Well, you're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. We did That's it together. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. An intern? What? Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. 
Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right-o, right. Awesome. I kinda liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. What is founding yeah. day? Yeah, uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm that's judging okay. a TNT rally in the morning. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. Can't believe they have an intern, though. That's awesome. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. I am going to see you all again. Same time next week. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town. Beacon Town? What? There's a parrot. What? All right, guys. Just very really quickly, um, I'm gonna turn the audio down a little bit. It just seems kind of loud, so sorry about that. But yeah, let's get back to it. Sorry about getting out of immersion there. that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, but being out there, adventuring, that's good too. I mean, I guess. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh, <laughs> too dangerous. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so they made things look a little different, which is cool. I bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. Mm hmm. There's just a lot of stuff. There's an octopus. Let's go look at the octopus. Craving seafood? Always. Why? What? Jesse, dude! No, I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? 
which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Are you telling me what to do? Okay. Ah, a blank canvas. Oh no, I have to build? Oh crap. I am the worst builder. What am I building? Guys, I am very bad at building, so... I don't know what to build. Click to exit. Um, yeah, I don't know what to build, though. Um, I don't know. We'll just go with some design, I think. We'll just build something really simple, because... We'll just build like a cool tower made of like a bunch of colors or something. I don't know. I'm not very good at building. That's the problem. Hmm. I actually might have an idea for something. We don't have many good colors for it, but I have an idea now. All right. We'll do this. This isn't going to look very good, I don't think. I'm going to try and make a sword. Nope, that's not how a sword looks. Okay. Hmm. How do I make a good looking sword? What if I made it three wide? Just a giant, like, sword thing. Um. Uh, it's not gonna look good because I you guys know I'm a terrible builder, but that's fine. Let's put like a blue block in the middle, I think, because that's a good color. Okay, yeah, this doesn't look good. <laughs> well, too big of a sword. Mm. We'll just do the very narrow sword. Um, no, that's not right. Let's do the. Sorry, this is taking so long. I'm not the best. I'm just trying to build a sword doesn't look good at all oh that's the build that dang it I don't know we're just gonna build this random thing I know it doesn't look good but guys I can't build Good enough. I don't know. I that suck at building. That is some sweet work. Nice. It's so bad. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft! Mm-hmm. That was so bad, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that build. Whoa! <gasps> Wink! Get back here! Leave Jesse alone! Hello there, Jesse! I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. 
Here, Jesse. Give him a bone and he'll calm right down. All right. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. All right. We should probably get to see Petrus soon. But there's so much to see. We'll talk to this random citizen for fun, I guess. Oh, wow! It is really you! My friend told me this was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the Wither Storm, before all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days, but I still have so many questions. I'll be polite. <laughs> All right. I love talking about the good old days. Yes. I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or like a critique of the world, maybe? I draw my inspiration from my friends. We were a team. It was a group effort. Oh, classic Jesse. I love that. The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams? Well, it's like I said about drawing inspiration from my friends. We all gave each other strength during that fight. Amazing! I hope I have friends like that someday. Oh, you are just the best! Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. No, not a problem. I'll see you around, alright? Alright. Ruben Memorial? Yes. Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. You oh, were. Man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. He saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, it's me. What are. What are you doing here? Oh, wow. This is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Sorry, uh, I got no time. Sorry, I just really don't have a lot of time. It's true. Very busy schedule today. Okay, okay. Uh, that's fine. I understand. I'll see you around. Yep. Will do. All right. Ooh, we can grab. I'm gonna grab a piece of sugar cane. I'm not gonna look at. It. I'm just gonna grab one. This might be helpful. Who knows? Sugar, nice. I'm not sure, but maybe. I don't know. We can grab it. It's an item. All right. A lot of people want us to talk to them, but. Jesse, over so here. How do I get through? I gotta go this way. Wait. Oh, whoops. This way. We can get the egg from the chicken. I'm just gonna collect these items, because they... Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Alright. Alright, let's go find Petra. Where is Petra? No. And here we are at the <laughs> mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Of course. I wish we could have helped a couple more people get ready. I mean, founding day is all about how you took down the wither storm and all. All right. Let's go explore. I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Yep. Bye! I'll... Have a good time! Don't I always? Whoa, there's a lot of miners. Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? 
No! Stupid zombie. Wait, we had a sword on us? What? Oh, I missed this. <laughs> oh, smell not so much. I like the combat. It's, it's a lot better, I think. Look at that. Punctual and kicking butt. Nice. Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing I people, you, signing papers. Nice to see Ugh. you again. I really do miss this. You know, us adventuring together, facing the unknown. Wish we could do this more often. Except I'm gonna have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. What is that? Iron? I didn't yeah. want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... More zombies. Ready for more? <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. I hit both of them. Awesome. That was easy. I haven't lost my step yet. Well, you sure showed me. I'll say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. Oh, friends come on. You important. know you're more important to me than all of them. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me. But, uh, can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Three? Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, a well, that's harsh. a little harsh. They've just got their own lives now. I get it. Well, I don't. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just. Trust me, it's important. Wait, what? What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? It's monster hunting time! Alright, let's go. Hey, it's Jesse! What's up? Good to see ya. Oh, perfect. I'm starving. Wow. Hey, I was gonna eat that! Sorry. Obviously. Oh, no. Well, I'm messing up. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Alright. Huh! Woo! Alright. Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. Mystery is what makes it fun. Come on! Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh gosh. Lots of that. Spiders. I see him. Uh -oh. All right. That's a lot of mobs. What? What? What do I do? Wow. Oh no, there's a jump. Yeah. Why did we jump so high?
We should probably light there. that up. It went into that cave. On it. What is it? And Petra's in the home stretch. Jeez, more of these guys! Let's go help Petra. My turn to save you, Petra. Ow. Spiders are tougher. I don't like them. I'm taking a lot of damage. Maybe we can seal them off somehow? Like, maybe a little lava. Whew, that totally did the trick. Ah, see ya. Hey, no fair. Cheater, much? I totally saved you back there. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, I shouldn't be gloating. I was just excited. Okay, <laughs> this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. What is it? Sounds really weird. Whatever it is. A llama? A hey, llama? llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <laughs> It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, uh, treasure sniffing llama. Or, uh, it's important, okay? Alright. I believe you. Please, just trust me. I trust you. We just need to bring her back to her owner. Okay, I okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. I don't see how, but yeah? I can trust you somehow. Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Just be quiet. This isn't gonna go well. Uh, I do. <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. It's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Yeah. All right, let's craft a torch. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. I told you I'm not the mayor, I'm the- Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Oh, I do paperwork. I'll shovel and shovel. It's so boring. How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. What the? It's 
is an item. Ugh, uh, get out of the way, I was looking at that. What's that? Only one way to find out. This is made of sand, I noticed, eh? What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Yep, that's me. Let's get it anyway. Whoa, girl. What is it? Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. We gotta pick it up. Whoa! Uh, how did... Where? What is this thing? Seems like it's not hurting you, and that's good. It looks kinda... Okay, actually, it looks really cool. It's not hurting me, but it keeps making these weird whispers. I haven't heard anything. Well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. Well, uh, let's get it off. Okay, ow, wow, stop. Thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Maybe. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Why? Man, what are the odds? Command blocks, portal keys, why is it always me? I don't know, but there's definitely a pattern. Uh oh, get off the pyramid, quick! What is that? Okay, now what the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground? Some sort of heck mouth? Sure, yeah, heck mouth. I, All right. I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, gives me the willies. And I'm gonna drop some sound gravel. coming from down there. Yep. Wow, that is bottomless. Well, we, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. All right, let's grab some dirt. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. Hmm. Oh. There, come on. I didn't know if I was supposed to look there. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something. Straight to the point. I like it. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, 
monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about Prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... All right. That was really bad. That sounds perfect. I can't wait to meet this guy. Knew you'd be excited. Yes. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. Petra, you're just as much a part of this as me. You can't just walk away from it. I... Ugh. I promise we'll take care of it. Just... Why are you being so weird about this llama? What's the big deal? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. <clears throat> it's... uh... It's been not great. Petra, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, or... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like, Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating... Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Mm -hmm. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. You're one of my best friends, and it sounds like you really need my help. For the record, I don't need help, but thank you. Don't worry, we're gonna get this whole mess sorted out. Hope you're right. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! Darn heck mouth. They made a llama statue? Okay. This is it. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Mm, I don't know if this is quite my taste. I prefer what we're doing in Beacon Town. Yeah, Stella always wants everything exactly her way. Doesn't matter how other people want to build. That's why I like Beacon Town better, too. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Hmm. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. All right. Let's just go confront Stella then. Whoever the Stella is. Ugh. There's Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> wow. You probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit. Come on, you. Up, my darling, you came home. You came back. Run, Lola. Oh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? Run. Sorry. 
There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. We're rivals now? I've met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. What? Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh, boy. Yes, that's right, my rival. I'm finally here to meet face to face. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I'm lying, but... I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. I mean... All free range, of course. Oh, I really, really wish I could. I mean, really, but I can't. Uh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. And, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Ah, oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't Stop push too hard deal. now. Stop changing the deal around, Stella. It's wrong. Well, I never. The deal hasn't, you know, changed. Sword. I want sword. My sword. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? No, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh dear, Patrick. I'm just gonna be quiet, sweetie. I don't really care, but Jesse apparently cares. I, uh... Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Doubt it. I'm not Did mad you know at the Petra. Way out? Of what am I saying? Of course, Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> Man, I, like hate, I said, I don't like the she's city. the worst. I'm not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. You're gonna punch things with my glove. Still, his treasure room is right there. Uh, but I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. But could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but. That's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Hmm. This way, we fight. We are going to sneak I in. think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. Hmm. We're gonna be stealthy. <laughs> We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Petra. Oh no. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. We got a boat. Easy puppies. See? You like bones, right? That was very bad. It worked. Dun 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 dun. Oh, not again. <laughs> Coast is clear. Ta da! This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. 
Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. Okay. There's nothing there to say that would be like, oh, it's okay. Man, so I, just didn't I wish you didn't have to find out about it this way. I don't care. It's Minecraft. You can live anywhere. Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing... <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Ha! Hey, yeah, ha! Shh, check it out. That's right, it's Patra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. <laughs> yeah! Awesome. That's hilarious. How, she has this so many the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. I feel like Together, she's they can take on. Oh, hi! Hello! Oh, never mind, she's not. Cool. Uh, you, you should not be here. Thanks for the compliment. This, this is, um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Yep. I gotta tell you, Stella, I'm actually a little flattered here. Didn't know you thought so highly of me. Uh, no, no, I, I was being sarcastic because I hate you. Yeah. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. Hmm. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. That's right, the day I reclaim the upper hand. Curse you, Jesse! <laughs> Classic rival. Awesome. That was awesome. Raw! Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good. Be quiet, Heckmo. Heckmo. What is that? It's the Heckmo. Supercharged creepers. So I didn't stop that. Or those. Oh, that's a lot of creepers. Okay. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Ah! Ah. Cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. Ah. So good to have you back. I'm confused. How did the gold blood outlast the the stone one? No, you don't! Super punch! Yeah! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Yep. Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. I don't think we can. Look at all the. Uh, 
We do not have nearly enough. What? Okay. Makes no sense. I, I don't know how we're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers? We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. All right, let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I d didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're uh, in charge. You know that. Well, I really appreciate you showing me. I know this is like your thing or whatever, and it's nice of you to share. <laughs> You are such a cornball, but no problem. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. All right. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should he I say? lives here. What should I do? What? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. What if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Well, if I can offer some advice, best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it. Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. Yep, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Oh my gosh, Petra, calm down. Spider Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. All right. <laughs> I just mean, uh, it's all pretty cool. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very, very brave. I mean, I don't know how brave it was. I was just doing what the sign said. <laughs> there are lots of signs in the world. Not everyone's brave enough to follow them. Warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. Okay. Nice to meet you, Jack. So cool. So awesome to meet you. Love your shop. Of course it is, and of course you do. Pleasure to have you in today. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Ay, whoa! Yeah, that's what we're here about. <coughs> uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. 
Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Found this way underground beneath Beacon Town. Thought you might be able to help us figure out where it came from? You did, huh? You can, can't you? Uh... Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters? Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol? <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. Wow, I'll be sure to remember that the next time I see a mysterious prismarine gauntlet. That sass won't fix the pit any faster, you know. That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. I like his voice. Hmm. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hi. I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Uh... Jack, come on. Do I really need to list off all the amazing things we've done to prove that we're tough enough to handle this? We can take anything you throw at us. <sighs> Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. Let me guess. The empty square is where we need to go. Yep. Awesome. And it's missing because... I, uh... kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Jack, you don't understand. We need that map. And I hear you. I really do. But I swear to you, it's not worth it. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get to that sea temple. That knowledge is... My curse. Jack, I get that you're haunted by horrible memories, but that's no reason to sit around moping. What'd you say? It's time to go get us some treasure and help you face your demons. Yeah! Well, that sounds to me like a challenge. And no one, and I mean no one, challenges the Velvet Tornado. Me and gets away with it. Yeah? Nerm, 
Time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Adventuring things? Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! And Jack, man, he is awesome, right? Ah, uh, I can't believe it. I'm going on an adventure with Jack. Hey! I like him. Can't wait to see him in action out there. I was just thinking the same thing. He actually seems pretty cool. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admin. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nerm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. Hmm. What's got you so excited about this one? Uh, I'll explain on the way. What? So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of okay, Port. Okay, geez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. All right, let's grab some armor. Oh, Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. Radar. The Lakers Guild isn't super Radar. happy about their... Ah, sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends and a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! Who can lead them? Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... this is... Try not to explode. Ah! Oh my god. Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss! Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye? Hey. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. Yeah, he's pretty hyperactive. I wish I could get him to calm down. Maybe teach him to meditate. Like the knights of the Shuje forest. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely hey, on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Yeah, you ever fought a Witherstorm or the old builders? Well, yeah, well, um, well uh, no, not specifically those, but, uh, you know, I did stuff. Wanna cool the ego there, Jesse? Jack's done some amazing stuff, too. I probably should have said hey, the teamwork wait, thing. wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. It's gonna come from the floor. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I've got one of those too. All right. <laughs> Let's go adventuring. Gotta stay with the classic guys. Super sword. I know it's sappy, but I feel like Eligard would be proud of the legacy we've upheld. Now that's more like it. Agreed. 
Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Ah. Uh, okay. Listen, uh, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City. So, I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I appreciate it. I mean, it's pretty big of you. Hey, look, I really meant it. Ah, it really is big of me, isn't it? Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, All right. Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. Nurm. Huh. That's not too far. So I leapt off the cliff, mournful blade in hand, and drove it right into the head of the Ikara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine. <sighs> okay. Oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see, after this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. It's I'll almost speak certain quiet. death. I wouldn't have it any other way. What? It sounds awesome. Quit staring at me like that. All right, before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Okay. What's different? Mm. Hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. <gasps> the who? The what? <sighs> Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. Yeah, I've seen weirder than that. True. Old builders, wither storms, computers. Oh yeah, we've well, computers. Let's just agree to disagree. I'll give you one thing though. Admin or not. What you're gonna see in this temple, it'll stay with you. All right, I'm excited. Let's fight something. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The, the sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. And what are we waiting for? That's the spirit. Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. Those look pretty cool. Temples that way. How? Compass. <laughs> yeah, this right. guy. Oh, that's so cool. All right.
Oh, okay, it's up here. That looks cool. Whoa! There she is. Incredible! made it. <laughs> now, we're sure that we have all our limbs. How about we find that structure block? I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. Oh man, those Three, things uh, are creepy. Right, if you look closely, the carvings on this prismarine aren't like anywhere else in the world. Really? Yep, completely unique. No one's quite sure why, but you'll never... I'm gonna need a sec, just to check my enchantments. Yeah, what? gotta make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. <sighs> huh? What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing, nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Nice. Uh, Ooh, whoa, out. it's uh, got me. Like, uh, frozen in place. Wow, it's a good thing you're better at fighting than you are at lying, because you are a terrible liar. What? I am... Uh, I'm an awesome liar. The deceptive, uh, deceivers of Lyar Mountain... Oh my god. Hmm. Uh, fine. Fine. I thought I was ready for this. Guys, hey, I found something! Cool. Uh, be right there! Hey, uh, let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? She's a fan. It's nice. Look, you have no idea how it feels to have everyone around you think you're some... has-been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Just don't let it happen again, all right? <sighs> of course I won't. What kind of scrub do you think I am? I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. Hmm. Let's go punch another wall. What's keeping you guys? Uh, uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Let's go. Let's go punch a wall. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Just do what I do, and you'll be fine, alright? Oh, really? I mean, yeah. 
Yeah, you're the boss. Push. Yeah. was too close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I... Uh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though, to see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. Why can't I go this way? Jack? Yeah. Is that, uh, dark prismarine? Or something like it. Oh, does that have to look Sponge at everything? Sponge is cool. It's like we saw at the entrance. Those are really good at soaking up water. Why can't I turn away? Oh. All right, should be able to use those sponges to soak up the floating water the Guardians are in. Water? Floating in midair? That should be impossible! Oh. It's not. Well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. Oh. Oh, he won't listen to me anymore. Guys. Hmm. Yeah, but what if it is real? The admin, I mean. <sighs> Trapped down here with a bunch of soft-headed shulkers. Hmm. Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. All right, enough with the admin junk. You said you saw sponges to soak up that stupid floating water, right? Yeah. Right, so we're gonna use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the Guardians. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but uh, someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the Guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup, whoever isn't doing the running. Okay, I'll, I'll run and keep the Guardians off your back. You and Jack do the sponges. Okay, everyone, let's get nuts. Ready. Ready. Then go! Hey, laser lips! Oh, boy. Woo! What's it like being ugly and bad at your job? Made it. Oh yeah. Oh no. No, no. S Sammy. Jack. Jack. Jesse, we've got a Jack problem. Jesse, catch. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Oh. Jack? Jack, are you okay? I thought you had this. No. I'm, I'm not okay. I didn't deserve our awesome cool guy handshake before. Oh. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend, Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure block's gotta be close. Glowing obsidian. So strange. Uh, hello! Is someone there? Uh, what? Hello? <laughs> I, I thought I heard someone! Kaloo Kalei! <laughs> I think if you get the door open, my cage should open too. 
you know, if you don't mind. Uh, but who are you? A friend. Uh, no. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about you and that door. <laughs> All right. You talk to Jack. Let's go see what he's doing. Jack, you okay? Don't really feel like being talked to right now, Jesse. I'm brooding. Uh, Jack, you're crazy. I guess there's not much else. Let's go up. Hmm. Looks like some sort of pattern. Sea lanterns, check. Okay, and that's dark prismarine. All right. Hmm, dark prismarine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. Oh man, do we have a puzzle? I don't like puzzles. I'm not good at them. Anything over here? There's Petra. How you doing over here? Okay. I can't stop thinking about what happened with Jack. Yeah? Just, if I saw your inventory piled down here, I don't think I'd be handling it much better than he is. I can understand him, are we? Hey, Nerm. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, you must be worried about Jack, right? He'll be okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to this. So what do we have to do? sure what we need to do here. We already talked to Jack. Let's look around a little bit. Got a sponge. Fine. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to make the pattern on the door. Um. So no clue on how to open the door then? Afraid not. But I really do believe in you. Thanks, talking thing. Okay, so I think we need to craft some items, but I don't know how to craft prismarine, so this is going to be interesting. Well, at least this temple was nice enough to provide a crafting table. Okay, it tells us. Cool. So we need sea lantern. Let's at least make one. What was it? Okay. I'm not really sure how to craft this, so... Alright. Sea Lantern. Nice! Alright, let's back out. Let's take a look at this thing. So we need to put the we'll place the lantern here. We we'll place dark prismarine. Up. Yep, that's dark yeah. prismarine. And we need another lantern. And okay, dark prismarine goes here. 
right? Okay, and here. And we just need another lantern. Alright. I think I've got this. Let's see if it works. We have just enough, so that's probably it. Let's see if this works. I hope so, because I don't know what else to do then. Uh, Alright. Also, we got it. Uh-oh. What are those? It's a guy. Oh, oh, oh. thank the tides. I'm finally free. <laughs> it has... It has been a very, very long time. <laughs> Vars! Jack! Oh, oh, oh. Wait, this is another one of your adventurer friends? Yes, this is my friend Voss. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. Hmm. Wait, how did you survive down here for so long? <laughs> if you sit absolutely still, you'd be amazed at how long a stack of pork chops will last. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Well, if I'm not mistaken, you've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. Cool. <laughs> you are truly something special. He has his moments. So, escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? Yeah, what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive. That's a victory enough. Oh. I'd really like to we see the, the sunshine again. I hope it's as nice as I remember. Sorry, Voss. Not until we get the treasure that we came here for. Yep. <sighs> Even I'll admit, it would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Well, uh, fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Not if you're dead, I guess. Ugh, more of those weird statues. Well, at least these ones aren't doing that creepy head thing. Alright, now the door to punch. Let's go. Punch! That's a bad sound. Yep, very bad. Hmm. What are those things? Come on, come on, come on. They got axes. <laughs> <laughs> Adventuring. <laughs> no kidding. What are they? They're kind of zombie shaped. They sort of sound like zombies, but those are definitely not zombies. That's true. see if we can defeat them later. Hopefully. Oh, wow. Wow. Us, Nerm, we did it. We're inside. Huh. Yes. That, it is incredible. Where's the structure block? Okay, guys. Structure blocks gotta be in here. How do you know? Just a feeling, I guess? I... I feel like this is important, but I don't really know why. Alright. Okay, go up the stairs. I don't like puzzles. Let's see what they're up to over here. Hey, Nurm, you think you could give me a hand with these? Oh. <sighs> uh, no. Nurmi says they oh. say, once the world was oh. flat, no mountains, 
No rivers, no trees, until the Admen, uh, built the mountains, sculpted the rivers, crafted the trees. Bunch of superstitious malarkey. Alright, so this Admin seems important. So that's interesting. More runes! Nerm, I'm sorry to bother you again, but... Hmm. Huh? The Admin uh, saw hmm. there were no more uh -huh. heroes worthy of his challenges. So he left this world until the next great heroes emerged. <gasps> Do we get to fight the Admin? Can't believe you buy into this stuff. That's obviously just the cop-out way of saying. I want to fight the Admin. That'd be fun. I don't know how he'd win, though. Because he has everything. But yeah. Let's keep going. See what we can find. What? What are those? <sighs> this this must be it. It's gotta be. Look, that symbol. It looks just like the one we saw underground. Be quiet, Glub. A structure block. <laughs> Nurm says there's some writing here. Old runes. Hmm. The admin's gifts declaring your path. Oh no. Choose wisely. That's all he's got. No. I guess you can only take one. Alright. We gotta make some decisions. What? Fascinating. Yeah. I mean what does it all mean? Still figuring that out. It's I'm looking at these things in the back, and this one looks like it can shoot stuff at us. So I'm gonna go for this one. Because it's not as threatening. Mm -hmm. That might have been a mistake, mm -hmm. I don't know. Says that's the wall of the builder. That's pure obsidian. Nothing's getting through that, that's for sure. Okay, so that's the wall of the, of the builder. This is what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nurm says that one's the tower of the warrior. Oh, wow. Yeah, I bet that could shred a gang of mobs in no time flat. I'm gonna go for the Builder. Builder path. That sounds like what we need. Well, it's supposed to be a gift, right? Whoa. Did I choose wisely? Please? I think I might have. Believe we got it. How do we get out? Our way out wasn't blocked by all these freaky soldiers. Perhaps they went away? No. I'm guessing no. Uh oh. It's our block. We want it. Uh oh. There are so many of them. Stay behind me, Nerm! Come on, Nerm! They have some good shots. Alright, we gotta take these things out. Somehow. Worst statues ever! They're huge! Oh, he's big man, very big! I think now might be a good time for that structure block! I don't know how it works! Try everything then! No! Please! Alright, we're in trouble. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work! Ah! Oh man. Oh, cool. Alright, we built the wall. Cool. <laughs> but there's a big one! Hello, Jesse. What? Yeah, talks. Here they come. They learned how to climb, no. Oh, come on. Man, we are in I'll trouble. I'll show you what we did to our enemies in Pergat. Still behind me, Nerm? Oh. Get ready, you guys. 
think you're all cool because of how tall you are, huh? Probably. Proud of how tall you are? I would. Okay. I kill these things. Oh, okay, so we have to go in the back of them. We got one in your face. Hoo -hoo. Met metaphorically. That was only one. Why hello. Hi. Uh, hi. Die now. No, please. Whoa! Too close. Stand still. Never. Thank you. My sword! I can... Uh, I can almost reach it! It's so close! Don't worry! I've got it! Mostly! Alright. Let's help Petra! Because I am Petra's friend. Close call. Nerm. Jack. I'm. I'm okay. Mostly. Oh no. Jack, I'm. I'm so sorry. It's ow. It's all right. Got my bad eye. All right. Nowhere to run. You have a great voice. Though sadly, still mortal. I touched my hair that time. Yeah, it didn't work that time either. <laughs> oh dear. Is there a leak in here? <laughs> I've placed every block you've ever stood on, and I promise I will place the blocks that cover your grave. Wow. The waterfalls! Let's go! Go, go! I'm right behind you guys! Um, really? What a dangerous world, Jesse. You are so tiny, and there is so much distance to cover. Also, you know, me. <laughs> no? Oh! Ah! Let's go! Oh, we died? No, we were so close. Okay, I gotta click Q fast. I placed every block you've ever stood on, and I promise I will place the blocks that cover your grave. I find it weird that he eats us. The waterfalls. Come on, we gotta go. Go, go! I'm right behind you guys. We can do it. Um. What a dangerous world, Jesse. 
you are so tiny, there is so much distance to cover. Thank you. Also, you know me. <laughs> Ready to press the button. Go! Yes! Ha! How's that feel, you dumb pile of rock? Jesse! Uh oh. All right, that was very intense, actually. I I like that. That was awesome. Oh yeah, this thing. There, that's where the structure block goes. Run right. it down, Jesse. We'll keep the creepers off your back. Really hope this works. Boom. Everyone okay? Looks all clear. Yeah, I think so. Victor Dance. Woo! <laughs> Impressive moves. Well, <laughs> what do you know, Jesse? You really did it. Huh. Yeah, I guess I did. Think that's really the end of it? Ah. Huh. Certainly looks that way to me. Then come on, let's go home, you guys. Okay. <laughs> this is more people than I've seen in a long time. Hey, everyone. Happy Founding Day. <laughs> oh, welcome back. We were worried you'd miss it. You're back! Thank goodness. This has... Ooh, this has been a lot of work. People all need things approved. Or help with building. Might have been a lot of work, but it was totally worth it. The place looks great. Yeah? Yeah, you did a great job, Radar. Wow, thanks. So, did you find what you were searching for? Kind of. We stole the Jesse! thing out. Jesse! Jesse! It's like I'm always telling people, teamwork makes the dream work. Thanks to all my friends, we brought this amazing new treasure back. There's nothing we can't do together. Happy Founding Day, everyone. You're welcome. right? I think they really liked it. Yeah, they did. Guess you've still really got it. Yeah, other than having half the number of eyes I had when we left, I'd call that a rousing success. Yeah, that part's not the best. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. Jack, I'm so sorry. I was really sure you had it back there. I don't blame you. I thought so too. Just as frustrated with myself. Oh, Jack! I... Uh... Oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just coming to get Jack. No, no, you're fine, friend. Voss and I are heading to the shop to start planning our next expedition. You coming, Petra? In a little bit. I'm still hanging with Jesse for now. Thanks, Petra. Still don't.
don't know what I'm gonna do about you, though. Uh oh. What's that? Whoa! You dudes heard that too, right? Oh. Yes! Terrifying! Yeah. What was it? Oh no. Jesse. Why? What do you, you want? You thought you could just run away from the admin. Maybe. <laughs> You've really got my attention now. You wanna go? All right. All right. So now we get to see um, all of our choices and how they work. So 65.1% of us chose to sneak. So that's cool. Um, did you think that radar was up to the task? 75% of us said that radar chose to leave him in charge, which, okay. When Petra was nervous to meet her hero, how'd you tell her to... I told her to be herself, which a lot of other people did as well. That's cool. Which structure block did you think would help the most? Only 46% of us chose the shield wall, which was the builder one. So I guess we're in the minority, but that's awesome. Did you assist Jack with his prismarine foes or help Petra save her sword? Because of the sword, because we got that earlier, I chose the sword because we worked so hard to get that thing. So I chose it. All right, so these are all the choices. But yeah, that was episode one. Oh, what's this? There's more. Oh no, Lucas, your book. Beacon Town. Write the next chapter. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Lucas is in the next episode, it looks like. But yeah, that was episode one of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. That was quite an adventure. And I like that we have some new characters. There's a really interesting plot which involves an admin, so that sounds like a, a lot of fun. I'm excited to see how we battle against them. But anyways, that was episode one. And yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. See ya!